Good morning, everyone. It's great to have you with us on this Tuesday as we look in at Psalm uh, 42 together. Let's read it together, shall we? You want to start us off, Jenny? Yeah. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me all day long, where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go with the multitude, leading the procession to the house of God, with shouts of joy and thanksgiving among the festive throng. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. My soul is downcast within me, therefore I will remember you, from the land of the Jordan, the heights of Hermon, from Mount Mizar. Deep calls to deep in the roar of your waterfalls, all your waves and breakers have swept over me. By day the Lord directs his love and night his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? My bones suffer moral, mortal agony as my foes taunt me, saying to me all day, where is your God? Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. Talking this week about hope, and this is a psalm both of spiritual depression and of hope in it. Jenny was saying yesterday about how the Psalms are an expression, an honest expression of our emotions, that we don't stuff our emotions down, that we don't necessarily emote everywhere and just share everything that we're feeling. But what we do is we, we pray our emotions and we turn them over to God. What the Psalmist is saying here in his spiritual depression is that externally his circumstances are oppressing in verse 3, he says, My tears have been my food day and night, while men say to me all day long, Where is your God? And in verse 10, he says, My bones suffer mortal agony as my foes taught me, saying to me all day long, Where is your God? People are saying to him, You look like you've been abandoned, because they're taunting him. So he's, he's got, not only has, has he got the circumstances he's facing externally, the difficulties of life, but he's also got people laying into him then on top of it. So he's got what he's suffering. And then he's got people taunting him um, as my foes taunt me. Uh, so he's, he's got these really difficult external circumstances. And then he's also talking about the inter internal emotions that he's experiencing. Um, so it's external, outside and internal, what he's feeling. He's depressed. He's full of turmoil and verses. 5 and 11, he says, why are you so downcast, O my soul? Both times, why are you so disturbed? So he's downcast, he's disturbed, he's distraught. Um, he's In verse 3, like Jeff said, my tears have been my food day and night. Have you ever been in a situation where you've, you're so upset or so sad that you just feel like it won't take much and the tears will break out. Uh, I know I have. And uh, you just, it doesn't matter, you know, somebody can be mean to you, somebody can be nice to you. It doesn't matter. The tears are just under the surface and they're about to, to come out. And that that's what he feels like. He feels like he's drowning, he says in, in verse 7. He's expressing that like feeling of, of drowning and, and utter helplessness. This one's hard to read with Jenny because she cries at anything. She <laughs> cries at adverts and just the most ridiculous things but <laughs> I totally get that when and we all do don't we when we're just yeah the tears are close to the surface you feel like a saturated field of kind of where the water is very close to the surface and sometimes when people are nice to you it makes you want to cry at times mm. but also so he's got these he's got these really difficult circumstances um he's being taunted he's got these internal emotions he's downcast he's disturbed he's close to tears feels like he's drowning uh, but he's also, he's fighting for hope. Uh, in verse 5, he says, um, Why are you downcast on my soul? Why so disturbed? Put your hope in God. I will yet, I will yet praise him, um, my Saviour and my God. Uh, I, in, in this season, he, he can't praise God. Why, why are you so, repeats verse 11, Why are you so downcast? Why so disturbed? Put your hope in God. I will yet praise him. You know, there are seasons where we just struggle to praise God. There are seasons where, you know, we, we can't hardly sing. Uh, we feel so fed up. 
and and the the psalm ends with him hanging on really uh still unable to praise god yet knowing that he will yet praise god that he will mm -hmm. he will get back to that place but in this moment he's finding himself spiritually depressed there's honesty and there's hope in this song mm. that uh, as he looks as he looks to god as he cries out to god and uh i think this year many of us have felt this at, at times we felt just like we're going under or like the waves are <laughs> the waves are coming over it's feel feel like you're drowning mm. or feel close to tears or, or just feel uh yeah longing i mean there's this longing in this psalm isn't there, of of when can i meet with god when can I go up? I remember when I used to go up with the procession to the house of God. This could be written for our times. Yeah. Um, singing with shouts of joy and thanksgiving among the festive throng as we're heading towards Christmas. And we're not quite sure how we're going to do it this year. And we remember past years of packed church and uh, people coming to worship God and to enjoy Christmas together. This year is very different. Mm. And uh, we kind of remember and look back. But in the midst of all this, there is hope. Put your hope in God. Well, shall we pray today as we uh, come to the end of our thoughts and just commit this uh, day to God? And if you're facing externally challenging circumstances where you feel oppressed or internal emotions where you feel depressed, uh, then uh, you can put your hope in God this morning. Mm. Let's pray. Lord, we pray uh, for one another today. Um, we we know there are times in our own lives, God, where we, we're close to tears, where we carry with us a sense of oppression or depression. But Lord, this morning we cry out with the psalmist, thank you for these psalms which are so honest mm. and so full of hope. And Lord, uh, we can we read them. We, this was a sung psalm. We can sing them. We can listen to the music that expresses its, its deep calls to deep. Lord, this is deep calling to deep. This is us calling to you spirit to spirit. And we pray today for one another, God, that we would have such a sense of hope in the presence of God today. That, Lord, we call out to you. We remember easier days gone by, Lord. And, Lord, we long again. And if we're in a season where we're struggling to praise you, we're not actually allowed to sing at the moment. We say, yet will I praise him. The day is coming, God, yes. where you will turn, turn our mourning into dancing and we will sing again with the throng of God's people. So, Lord, bless this, your people, and those that are particularly feeling discouraged and down in the dumps today, lift their heads and encourage their hearts, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hope you have a great day today and uh, remember that God is with you and be hopeful and we'll see you tomorrow.